Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Amulan Sektivel. Hope you are doing good. Uh, we have covered three parts so far, and uh, the conditions here uh, that I am going to cover in this particular video is very important because the you know we used to write a lot of code in order to wait for an element to be visible, clickable in Selenium. Uh, uh, but in in Selenite, it's going to be much easy and much readable. So without wasting much time, let's switch to my IntelliJ. So this is a sample test that I have written. And here, if you notice, I'm trying to launch the browser, trying to find the element uh, Q. And then, you know, I basically want to wait for the element to be visible. Maybe we can also pass multiple conditions later, but for now, I want to wait for it to be visible. Then I want to set the value to it. Uh, then I want to press enter, right? So there's a text box, Google text box. I'm trying to wait for it visible, enter this value and click on enter, right? Pretty simple. But here, uh, let's first try to run and see whether the test is working, right? And I will explain all these things later. But for now, let's quickly check whether this is working. Yeah, it's in frame. So it's entering testing many bytes. Now it will search. Uh, it will check for whether it is having a size of 11, the list, OK? And then it'll also check whether there is a item with text testing. Yes, it worked, right? It, it worked. Now in Selenium, let's say I want to operate on this element. I used to write new web driver wait. We will use all these things, right? Uh, and then this is a lot of lines of code. But here in, in Selenite, they have written a wrapper for around it. And now this has becomes very easy. So whatever that you see after should be, right? Should be is basically uh, similar to your explicit weights, okay? And then these are like almost like your preconditions, okay? Before it operates on a web element, okay? So in this case, I'm saying should be and then condition dot visible, okay? Uh, so now it will wait for it to be visible, okay? It's almost similar to new web driver wait, driver manager dot get driver comma timeouts dot until expected conditions dot uh, wait for element to be visible. So there is so much of noise here. It's much simpler, right? And and if you notice, I'm I'm mostly concerned about this condition. By default, this condition will be you know by default, Selenite will wait for four seconds. Okay, but let's say you want to have a different time, you can do configuration dot timeout and then set your custom time, right? Uh, here it will wait for five seconds again guys there are multiple ways you can set this configuration i have covered this in the previous video if you haven't watched that please watch now so now there are multiple other conditions so conditions dot not just visible you can wait for if it's a text box you can wait for it to be editable you can also do uh wait for an attribute okay let's say all the elements will have some attributes you can wait uh let's say i want to wait till the attribute let's say uh value is is having some value of value one to three, whatever, right? You can you can do all these uh, customs uh, conditions if, if you want, right? And then you want to check whether it is not visible, okay? Condition dot not visible. So you want to wait till it is not visible or you can simply say condition dot disappear, right? Or you want to wait till it is disabled. What are the, there are multiple other conditions you can, you can really use them, right? Um, uh, enabled. You want to have a text. You want to wait for a href attribute. Let's say it's a link. You want this link to be there before you try to click on it because all the a tags will have href, right? So you can do all this. You want to wait till the ID becomes something, right? So you can wait for uh, it, it to contain a text, and then this is a regular expression. Regular expressions are very powerful. You can also wait for it to become something else. Okay. So yeah. You can you can do our conditions as well okay uh, so let's say either you wait for this or you wait for that so you can you can put multiple conditions uh either this or that you can also do that uh you can also use and in this case it will uh, it will also look for visibility it will also look for clickability right so so whatever you want to use you can use that and again if you notice this should be is accepting not just one condition it's accepting variable arguments which means you can pass multiple conditions you know just one so you can you can do like this condition comma visible condition comma enabled and then you want to do something other right you can pass multiple other conditions again 
you can also create your own custom condition if you, if you are looking for something to build on your own you can also do that i'll cover that in the next video but for now um, just understand these things the conditions are very powerful and uh, if you use it with should be it's like your explicit weight preconditions but if you use it with should have okay then it becomes an assertion okay the same thing you can do it so it becomes an assertion okay so if it fails here it throws element not found exception element not visible exception uh, element not interactable exception whatever and here it will throw assertion failure this is doesn't found okay this is an assertion failure okay Th that is the only difference between should be and should have in both the cases you use conditions okay now um, i will come on this out but yeah you, you can also do this with with multiple elements here we are interacting with one elements here if you are interacting with multiple elements let's say i'm trying to find elements by x path tag name of h3 right and then i'm trying to check i'm trying to assert here because it's having should should have so i'm going to assert whether the collection has a size of 11 right in normal case we could write a lot of things right we, we have to return a web list of web elements we need to put web elements dot size and then equal to equal to 11 right so we have to write a little bit of code there also imagine you want to verify among the 11 elements at least there should be one element with the text of testing many bytes you have to uh, basically have a list and then you have to use assert j or test ng and then write your own um, assertion for that but here it makes your life so very easy you have item with text method you directly pass it it is not just this you can also do multiple other things let's say any match which leverages predicate all match so any match means among the level elements you want to check for at least one of them matching a particular predicate that you pass all the match is basically all the elements should match a predicate that you pass right whether it's having exact text let's say here there are level elements you can also pass 11 elements here and then blah 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 uh, so this is text not just text so you can pass 11 elements and then you can wait for it okay so so the first condition to look for is basically expected element size is is basically equal to actual element size okay element size okay because if you are if you have 11 and then you are trying to compare with two it won't do it right so uh, in those cases you can use use I, item with text okay if you want to just do one element comparison or where or you can also use uh, any match okay there is something called as any match uh, which basically uh, leverages predicate uh, and then you can say i want to finding uh, testing minibytes okay finding testing minibytes okay and then you can pass uh, whenever there is a web element you can just get the text and then you can do equals ignore case of testing minibytes okay whatever you can do this comparison like you know you want so the thing here is they have added a description for these predicates because i understand predicates a lot but not many people do that so they have really done good thing here by adding description so that people who don't understand predicates understand that by by using description uh, i can give more detailed description like at least one of the element should be containing text whatever i can be as descriptive as i want so that it it makes more sense uh should have testing here to be whatever right so you can you can do all these custom conditions and you know you can do that so so the the one that i told here expected element size is equal to actual element size how i found this okay if you, if you make use of this text or anything if you go inside this it basically returns new text and if you go here the first condition they are checking is element dot size is not equal to this then throw if first thing they are match checking whether it is matching if it is not matching they are returning direct directly there is a size this this match okay so that's that's how you can basically leverage all these things okay let's say uh, i will revert this to testing mini bytes okay testing mini bytes Okay, 
and the same thing uh collection condition i can also add it here as well so collection condition dot uh i want to wait the size to be greater than uh five okay then uh, once the size is greater than five i want to verify whether the size is 11 and then it has item with text as single so i can put my custom condition here look this is not really uh you know this is also possible in selenium but it is not much clean like this okay so you can do static imports for this so that your code becomes much readable now uh, so if you notice here should be visible should be have you know size greater than five uh, should have okay assert size with 11 whether it has item with text okay so these are all very good code right so it is very readable so this is precondition this is assertion we know what is doing what but both of them leveraging collection condition and condition okay that's all i have to have cover here in this video i hope that you find this useful if uh if you, you know guys if you are watching this videos please do subscribe and share it with your friends uh thank you guys have a good day bye